Hi everyone, it's Katie from the Worcester Arts Workshop and today we're going to be creating something unique and colourful using recycled paper. So the materials you're going to need are a piece of cardboard and I've used some from an old cereal packet so that's just the right thickness. You will need some scissors and some glue, a selection of coloured pens and a good selection of coloured paper or card which would otherwise have been recycled. So I have a magazine and I've torn some pages out of that. I have some pieces of patterned paper and wrapping paper from presents and also some coloured card and a few pages from an old book. And what we're looking to achieve is to use little strips of that paper to create some really unique pictures. So you could probably see here, this is the strips of paper I've cut out. Then I've added in some drawings to make the picture a little bit more effective. And there's another one. And you might be able to see that's lots of different patterns and colours from various sources of paper. You can also make perhaps decorations or just some pieces on their own. There's a fish and a bird and a rainbow and some black and white items too. And you can use these as decorations, as a picture, or you could make some cards for birthdays. So the first thing that we need to do is choose the shape that you want to be cutting out of your cardboard. I've drawn a few on here already and I've cut some out. So you can see I've drawn a bird and I've cut that one out and a moon as well. And I've also done a boat and I'm going to be using the boat to create a, a, a bigger picture and a star to create a greetings cards. So what you need to do is cut those out. Okay, so now you've cut your shapes out, we need to move on to cutting our strips of paper. This is where you can choose the pages from the magazine or your pieces of wrapping paper and card and just start cutting them into strips and I've done quite a lot this morning and I've just chosen lots of different pages from the magazine that I can see that there's a, a rainbow of colours, some of the wrapping paper and some of the pages from a book and I've just started cutting them into strips and you can do these as thick or as thin as you like but don't forget that if you have a fairly small shape, you want the strips to be a little bit thinner so that you can cover them with a good selection of the colours and the shades. So for my star, I'm going to use different shades of yellow. So you need to take your shape and you need to put a little bit of glue on the shape. And then take one of your strips of chosen paper. So I'm going to do some yellow. And you just need to stick it so that it covers the edges. And don't worry at the moment that it's above the tips or the outsides because we're going to be cutting this down once it's dried. And you need to line up each strip side by side, adding glue as you go along to each strip. And you carry on doing this until the whole piece is covered. Right, so I've stuck all my strips of paper on and that's nice and dry as well. I've given it some time for the glue to dry. So you can see it probably doesn't look like a star at the moment. If I turn that round, you can probably see the piece of cardboard. So what we want to do is to cut around the edge of that cardboard and the little bits of strips of paper will just fall out the bits we don't need. One little 
bit more and there you can see that we have a star shape so I said I was going to make a card and I've got a piece already folded up here I'm just going to glue that on and as I said you can make whatever you like with your shapes just like that and I think I'll add just a few little pen marks just to make it look like a shooting star and it'll be really interesting to see what you make and if you can send some photos into the workshop because we'd like to see what your creations are now whilst you were doing your strips I also stuck the pieces on for the boat that I cut out and you can see that I've cut those out three different colours nice wood effect for the boat and nice colourful sails and again I'm going to just draw some little added features I think I'll have some wavy lines for the water You can do these in colour or you can just use a black pen. Can add some seagulls as well. Um, there's a larger picture. So have fun cutting out your shapes and your coloured paper. And as I said, send in your pictures and your creations to the Arts Workshop. We'd really love to see them and share them on our social media. Have fun, everyone, and see you all soon.